All right, guys, do you want to see the video that the Pentagon released? Yeah. Of the UFO? Okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. UFOs flying through the air are real. They... By the way, uh, we need to write this stuff down. <laughs> oh. Oh, my guys, the Pentagon? Just really some news. Video is appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. The Pentagon just released three short videos. They show encounters between Navy pilots and what they're calling unidentified aerial they phenomena. A video of a UFO. They have footage of a UFO. So obviously, these guys are getting ready for an alien hunt. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got this first bit once, and I got this I could pull off easily. Yeah. Okay, obviously aliens are allergic to water, right? Uh -huh. And obviously they're allergic to no, tin foil. They, oh, the they can't hear your brains, right? No, they can't. You guys have never seen science, have you? Yeah. <laughs> and I have this if they come, I could go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we may have told the kids that this morning, just kind of like, hey guys, this happened. And we were talking about it over breakfast. Yeah, they went full on science. Uh, alien us. hunt mode. <laughs> Aliens are going to come here, apparently, so... <laughs> but don't you worry, we're prepared with their aluminum foil unicorn horns. They've got spit wads spit because wads. it's got water in it, and... And lightsabers. We're, we're not worried at all. And Ninja Turtle things. Yeah, <laughs> weapons. So, I love your outfits. We are not going to get invaded by aliens today. Right? You are so cute. Tell Dad what you said about the green. I got green because aliens love green, so they'll come to it and I'll just stab them with this. I good idea. Very I good stab idea. Them like with your cup, awesome. Because uh -huh, it has a point, a really sharp point. Awesome. Coco, let me yeah, see your spike yeah. in the back of your hat. Oh, yeah. They can't read your mind, and huh? Look, they, they can't read mine. They, they, nope. they can't read my mind, dead eagle. Oh, good. Carson, what do you got? What do you got going on over here? <laughs> Lightsaber. Awesome. Lightsaber. You got the tin foil hat. You got awesome shoes got on. this to talk like them. Ooh, how do you do that? Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Alright guys, do you want to see the video that the Pentagon released? Yeah. Of the UFO? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. What is that, guys? Don't you like now? Oh. We saw two aliens right now. Is that what is it? Almost here. They're almost here. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy guys, right? It's just, it's just the airplane that goes in the sky. Does aliens design it? I don't know. Maybe. I am drawing it. What do you guys think about it? Cool. Scary. Cool. Cool. It's getting bigger all the time. It's getting bigger. Yeah. It's getting closer. Yeah. Is that kind of crazy? Yeah. I'm going to do it What it looks like. It kind of looks like. A saucer with like a point at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Fast lights Whoa. going. Are they in space? Whoa. They're just flying a jet. <laughs> oh, okay. uh -huh. We have a world with people, so who's to say there's not other worlds with people? We're all in that world. See what I'm saying? Holy cow. That's funny. Oh, God. I should have went closer and see if it, like, if they could see what's in it. 120 miles. 120. Oh, we need to write this stuff down, people. <laughs> I mean, this star up there. Could I? Yeah. I'm getting out of here. 
Yeah, go get a paper and a pencil. I need to write stuff Mommy. down. So we're gonna go hunt some aliens, I think. A little okay. camera thing. <laughs> um, it cu you could put it by their eyes and it will tell if they're an alien or not. Ooh. Mm -hmm. and we weren't I'm sure not... if Canyon was an alien earlier, huh? Yeah, we were pretty sure Canyon has some activity of alien. Yeah, so we had to put that on his head. <laughs> Are you sure about that? You're See, not? The only okay. kid who doesn't have it. Yeah, you're the only one that doesn't have tinfoil. I don't know. Ah! It might be you. Shackle, go to shackle. Cohen, you an alien? I'm pretty sure you're an alien. Trying to vacuum? Okay, guys, so what we're doing right now, we're going to train for just in case the aliens have like weapons or really hard arms that they could fight with. Or they could just fight with their hands. Say it's safe to say we are safe from the aliens in our house. No, we're not. Definitely not gonna get attacked. And even if we did, we would be safe. Huh, Coco? Maybe. Maybe. Today's been a great day. We had biscuits and bravy. Bravy. Gravy for breakfast. It was yummy. It was super good. And it's Leo's birthday today. Yeah, happy birthday, happy birthday Leo! Leo. Buddy. We love him, you guys. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't like. Yeah. Go do a party for him. And Big party, I know. He deserves to be celebrated. But you guys, Leo's our nephew, for those of you who don't know. He's yeah. my sister Shelby and our brother-in-law Steve's little boy. Yeah. And he is two today. So go jump on their channel. It's called Steve and Shelb. They just posted a video of his birth vlog that you filmed, I edited. It was super emotional. It's awesome video. You guys, it's one that still gets to me. They struggled with infertility for six years before... He was born, so it's just a very emotional video. Highly recommend you go watch it, but take the pictures with you. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, in all seriousness though, I had just been thinking, you know 2020 has been a crazy year when this isn't getting very much news or attention. And not only that, I feel like the last few months have kind of just been surreal with like a worldwide pandemic and so much going on much bigger earthquakes here in the state of Utah than we're used to. There's just been so many things that I feel like every little thing that gets announced, it's just like not a surprise anymore. So as fun as it is to let the kiddos like joke and go on their alien hunts and stuff, it kind of has just gotten to that point. And I told Cody, it's crazy that our world and our life has gotten to that point where they could like announce anything and it wouldn't be shocking. It wouldn't be this big. There's also an asteroid supposed to hit the earth tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, today. Or today? Oh, shoot. Well, someone, we better post this video quick. Someone's posted that, but I read that NASA said it will never happen. It's missing us by, like, a lot. A lot. <laughs> but crazy stuff happening. I don't know, just, like, the Starlink satellite train. That's, like, a big deal. That's, like, a big thing. There's just so many things that I feel like would have been, like, mind-blowing in my childhood that are now kind of just becoming standard. standard. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But you can see Dakota's taking notes here. Oh, you're drying it? That's what it looks like. Nice. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Something that I do love though is these kiddos' imagination and something that has come 
out of this self-isolation here at home is these guys have become so much closer friends. You can't see the movie? You can't see the movie? Also, I feel like we should make the disclaimer that we're not saying we do or don't believe in aliens. It was just an interesting bit of news to wake up to, right? I mean, yeah. if anything, cool? it was interesting. And it got us talking, and then it made for a really fun activity for the boys to do today. So they are still just sitting here doing some research. You gotta love the tin foil on their hats, you guys. Kaisy boy. I love you guys. It feels a little hot. <laughs> <gasps> Do you want to go outside? <laughs> you guys, outside is his favorite place in the world. Woo woo! Step down. Good boy. <laughs> Such a beautiful night. All right, guys. So, kind of breaking up the happiness of today, but. We have a swing in our backyard underneath the tree house and Cody just hung it last night. Last night was the first time he put it up for the year. And earlier today, that kid and Ken were laying on it together, huh? Canyon was pushing them and what happened? This screw came undone and we did. So one of the sides of the swing came undone and Kinley and Coda both went flying. But um, the good thing is I fell first and she like rolled over me so she didn't just fall. Yeah, so come here, sissy. So sis, here, look towards the sun. Look this way. She kind of scraped her chin and her cheek on a yeah. piece of wood. Yeah, me hurting this from on this ride. Awesome. So we're really glad that she didn't get more hurt or hurt her arm. But Coco, you guys, you see next to his eye right there? He hit his face and it's bruised. And then what's the main thing that's hurting? His collarbone. <laughs> So McKinley's getting her cast off and her arm reevaluated tomorrow, but we might be adding a new break to the list. Dang it, buddy, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? It just hurts when I'm moving. That's not an idea. Coda's a tough tough kid. If you guys have been here for a long time, you know that. He wrestles and he plays tackle football and he's he's tough, you guys. He gets hurt all the time and he doesn't cry. And Today he was in a lot of pain, so we decided just to watch it for a little bit to see if we need to take him to the doctor, and I think we need to take him. So, super, super bummer. I could, I want to name him. Do you guys know how lucky we are to live in such a beautiful place? Oh. <laughs> and that right there is why we're going to wait until at least the morning to get his arm checked out because he has his moments where he's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, but look how pr pretty the sunset is. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> so beautiful. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Today was quite the interesting day. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was fun to see the kids like have something to geek to, out over almost. To geek out over, well, and to just have fun together. They yeah, had so much they fun. They did. Hopefully, Koda's arm feels better tomorrow morning. If not, I'll be taking him to the doctor, see Kinley, how that goes. Kinley has her appointment with the specialist, the orthopedic specialist, yeah. to take off her current cast, but then they're gonna redo x-rays, check her pain level, all that kind of stuff. So she could be getting yeah. another cast on. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully no surgery or anything. A lot guys, of doctors tomorrow. <laughs> I've had like the worst headache for like five hours, and I think it's because of just mom stress. like. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm just realizing how fragile my babies are. It's stressing me out. I'm going to cry <laughs> if I talk about it anymore. They're strong. They're durable. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, guys. We love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Guys, the Pentagon I just released emotion. some news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fight them. Is that funny? I'm to fight them. You want?